Hi guys, welcome to the Doodle Parlour. So today we've got a gorgeous litter of toy poodles. They're here having their very first puppy pamper before they leave to go off to their new families. So we've popped them all in the bath together to keep stress to a minimum. They've been bathed in puppy shampoo and now we've popped the stand dryer on over the top of them. So the nicest way to introduce a puppy to the stand dryer is by finish drying them on your lap. Always remember to put that dryer on the lowest setting possible and just hold them in front of the dryer rather than standing them on the grooming table. Just remember this is all so new to them and keep everything to a minimum. And now to give this cute little girly a trim. So remember this baby's only eight weeks old and at this age we're literally going to make sure she can see where she's going. We're going to trim around her bum and around her hygiene area. We're going to trim around her toes and the straggly ends from her ears. And really just make sure she's super cute and tidy for her new mummy and daddy. Now this little love is being really good. She's not too wriggly and she's sort of sitting on the table and she's, well, she's being fabulous, let's be honest. But do remember puppies can wriggle and those scissors are super sharp. So, um, yeah, be careful. Um, I'm holding the leather on her ears and I'm making sure that I'm just taking those ends off making sure that there's definitely no skin. As you can see, I'm just taking the tiniest amount off. This isn't a groom, guys. It's quite literally a bath, a fluff dryer, and a tidy up. We're just making sure she's super cute. I mean, look at that face. She's such a fluff ball. So I like to use a curved comb on a wool coated breed as you can see it's just i just find it easier she's so fluffy and it just helps to lift the coat even more it just makes her into total fluff ball look make sure you comb everywhere so that's under a tail just in between her back legs just make sure everywhere is totally tangle free you'll be able to pull that comb really gently and just really easily just it will just glide through her coat once you're sure that the coat is totally tangle free, now's the time to, to run the comb against the, the coat. Really just up the legs, just lift everything up. It just adds to that fluffy look and just, just really finishes everything off for you. So once we've got everything standing and all fluffy and lovely, it's time to move on to the pièce de résistance. What could be cuter than that face? Now I like to comb from the back of the head forward, from the bottom of the ear up, You're just making it as round and as fluffy as possible. Pull that muzzle out, just get everything standing on its end. As I say, this is this is just the icing on the cake, isn't it? I mean, she's so super cute and fluffy, but that lovely round face just, yeah, just finishes it off for her. And then just pop around, as I say again, look, look at that tail. She's just, yeah. She's doing the hard work for you. It doesn't take much to make this puppy just look adorable. And, um, well, the whole litter have been an absolute pleasure. She's just, there you go. She's round again. Don't forget under there, Mia's, and don't forget under that chin. Moving forward, that will be where, obviously, where a collar will go. That's it just never miss the nooks and crannies under the arms. You know, these are all the places you should just make sure that I get a really good brush out. So all that's left now is just to wish these babies all the love in the world and good luck in their new homes. And, well, I'm going to leave you with the images of the rest of the litter. So all four puppies were done the same way, all looking super fluffy and just the cutest in the world. Take care, guys. See you soon.